This day has just been weird. <laughs> I go from Log Horizon, which was pretty good, to SAO, which was... I don't want to talk about it, but I still have to review it, to Fate Stay Night, which was just... <laughs> so... <laughs> I, I guess let's just get to the best of today so far, which is Log Horizon. So, there's not... Actually, no, I have quite a bit of notes. I don't think this will take too long, though. So, in terms of art and animation, I feel as that Studio Dean is actually doing a better job than I thought they would. The way I thought Studio Dean would handle this is more so they butcher the adaptation itself and then go towards butchering the art and not necessarily the animation. But the scenery looks a lot more detailed, the animation is so much more fluid, and there's way more depth of field. So, I can't really blame them for anything. If anything, I actually have to credit Dean because they're doing an actual good job at this. And if Dean had picked Log Horizon up first, I don't know if this would have been better, but I at least know it would have been better animated, and it would have probably looked a bit better. The only complaint that I still have is uh, uh, Shiroi's face at, right now is completely fine. I, I got used to it. It's normal now. Now Tsugu's face is fine. But Akatsuki's eyes, because she's not shown up so much, it just looks weird when you see her and her eyes aren't really that type of lowly-esque thing anymore. They're more so just like a normal human. And that's not a bad thing, but it completely destroys what they were building off of her character in the first season. How she's supposed to look like a child, and therefore, you know, just destroys everything that they kind of put in the first season. <laughs> in short, relating to her character. But uh, moving on, I did like the strategy. Uh, I was watching this with Mr. Reckless Penguin, and we were talking about how Log Horizon feels more like a game. Like a game anime, more like a game world than just an MMO or fantasy world like SAO. SAO just feels like a fantasy world, while Log Horizon actually feels like I'm watching an MMO, like a competitive MMO or something of that sort. And I think that's the difference between um, SAO and Log Horizon. It, part of it is just atmosphere. And I think that Log Horizon does a way better job at portraying its atmosphere than SAO did. Of course, you got the characters like Shiroe that are still assholes, but that's great. <laughs> and I do like the comedy that they're putting in. The, like, Shiroe being such a jerk, you got the Akatsuki, the, 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 the Akatsuki curse. <laughs> you got Tetra, and I'm not gonna say anything about Tetra, because, uh, I'm gonna let your own hopes be ruined. I'm, I'm not gonna say anything, but yeah, you get the point. Then you got new songs added to the OST to help better the presentation. I did like the new song they added, and then they're still keeping some of the stuff from the old OST. So it seems as if more so they're just adding on rather than changing and remixing, and I think that's perfectly fine. Uh, other than that, there's not too much. The, everything else, I think I've covered everything for the review, so now... It's more so just a theory. So I did have a theory while I was watching the episode, but I think I disproved it myself, and that was at the end, I think what we saw was a person of the land, and it's like a boss, but he has the intent to kill, because he had he was looking down on the adventurers as if they were lowered. They were like lower in status, and he called them by adventurers, not just fellow people. So that's making me think that this is a person of the land. It's almost obvious that this is a person of the land. So, the question is, if you if a person of the land kills you, do you die? But then I thought, that would break the rules of the world, because, uh, uh, what do you call them? Adventurers respawn in the temple, or near a certain spawn location, so therefore they can't die. Or they can't die like that. But what I'm thinking is, people of the land can die. So what I'm thinking is that, maybe people of the maybe the adventurers become people of the land like Shirawe and Akatsuki and that's how they end up turning you know at the end of the first episode that thing so anyways that's all I got for Log Horizon thank you guys for watching if you guys did enjoy please leave a like comment and as always I will see you guys in the next video deuces